Hey, how are we doing? It's JJ. Just excuse me, I'm just driving down a country track as part of a farm and I'm camping overnight. It's not a wild camp, I'm camping at the farm. I've been here loads of times, you know that. And um, I'm going to meet up with my good friend South Bucks Bushcraft, who I've camped with before, and his friend, uh, who I've not met before, but I've started following each other on Instagram, and that's Jacoby Catapult. So we're, we're going to have a little camp, and just driving across the field into a little copse where we're going to get set up. I've arrived before the others, because they're travelling a bit further than me. And um, yeah, they should hopefully be with me in the next half an hour or an hour. So I'm going to get parked up, going to find a spot and I'll catch you in a bit. Right, a few hours later, we are all set up. And uh, you recognise this man? We have camped before. It's the South Bucks Bushcraft. And behind him, we've got Jay. Where's me? I'm hiding him. Say hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Mr. Jacoby Catapults. We're all set up. I'm just going to flick round. Hang on. Sonny's using a PowerPoint tarp. Is that DD? DD 3x3 PowerPoint. Yeah. Bivy bag sleep. Let's go past Jay, who's uh, on fire duties, splitting away some uh, kindling and some awesome fatwood. I think we might be all right on firewood tonight. <laughs> Got a little uh, tripod for these guys to hang their Dutch oven, which is going to be going in a little bit. And this is the this is how it's being lit. Look, classic old box of matches just there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is Jay's set up over here. DD multicam tarp. DD frontline hammock. Nice, nice. And I've just gone back to, I'm going Dutch. There's the Dutch army canvas bag. Uh, bag, tent rather. <laughs> uh, we've we we're, we're having a bit of a an axe and knife fest today, so uh, we've got a selection of axes and uh, and another knife. So what I've actually been doing is I've been um, working over some of my axes, and they're uh, using an axe puck and then using a Gary Flex, a brown Gary Flex just to take a load of the resin stains that are on some of the knives and the axe heads and then just taking it down to a real sort of fine foul knife and DC4. But yeah, just decided you needed to see something other than a Lavu. So I haven't used this for a couple of years and it's just great to use again which is a Dutch Army canvas. Which is brilliant. And obviously we're not wild camping, so you can bring out some extra little luxuries, like a chair and a table, and get yourself set up. I'm going to be using the C UCO fire grill pit. So I'm going to cook me up steak, potato, mushrooms, what a guys, have a lamb roast, because I don't really do lamb. I like to see lambs frolicking in fields. <laughs> Not in a pot. <laughs> right, we're going to get the fire going. We'll catch you a little bit later. Jay's just got half a leg of lamb going in there. Just starting to sear that. Absolutely lovely. It's 
So as I mentioned earlier, we're just using the UCO flat pack grill, which works a treat. As coals are going nicely. Uh, just using the Petromax medium cast iron skillet pan with some potato and bacon bit brunch with red onion like a potato dauphinoise a couple of mushrooms Jay's hungry <laughs> and we just got my sirloin steak slowly going there keeping it on a low heat don't want to ruin that little beauty turning into be a cracking little evening around here axe tree nice there you go we is all cooked couldn't be bothered putting it onto a nice clean plate so we're just gonna eat it out of the skillet on my lap guys are almost finished with theirs oh yeah I did a lamb curry, didn't I? I did that mm. lamb curry, that was good. Okay. Yeah, and Rogan Josh, that was alright. Mm. As the summer comes though, very, very light meals, mate. No, not really. Yeah, you, you just get too full of yeah. stuff. Yeah, too hot. I can't yeah. eat, uh, eat late in the summer, I mean, no. even at home. No, after where, work, where, where's, where's me out? Where's me out? Yeah. We'll eventually get some cats and chicks going, I reckon. Be a good one. Get the cat and chicken out of the sky and chicken. So, uh, it's about quarter past eleven. And we're in the bed. So, we've just spent about the last hour and 40 minutes just chilling out in front of the bushcraft tv zoning out on the, a nice little bit of a fire a good chat a little torch set up inside of the dutch army it's quite a light tan color so a little torch in here throws off a bit of light which is nice few beers nothing too excessive proper chilled out got a nice little wooden blanket and a van go 300 sleeping bag you take my hoodie off go sleep it's been an absolutely fantastic evening good food great company nice chat good fire that's enough see you in the morning 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 <coughs> Been up for about 45 minutes. Didn't have a particularly great night's sleep. No reason why. I think I was kind of sleeping on a little bit of a, a jaunty angle. So I wasn't sort of comfortable for that much. But uh, eventually got some sleep after the geese calling out and the sheep calling out and the bull in the field calling out. But yeah, otherwise not too bad. Not too bad. I'm just going to have a brew and a bit of porridge. Catch you in a minute. So that's what I used last night, which is the outhouse woolen blanket with a Van Gogh Latitude 400 bag. That's a free season bag, and to be honest, I was proper toasty warm. And that, the wooden blanket just gives that nice bit of comfort. And then uh, my quetcher pillow. And then underneath I've got a Berghaus sleeping 
and that air compress on top of a Varostruika roll mat just because I need a little bit of extra protection for the back but apart from not getting the particularly best night's sleep due to a combination of geese and a bull roaring its head off and all sorts I was actually comfortable sorry the latitude four is actually a four season tent uh, sleeping bag had it unzipped most of the way and just had the blanket it's been nice to get back out with the Dutch army again it's been lovely guys are all sort of just packing up Sunny's all all sorted out, squared away. Sunny, pleasure to meet you again, my friend. Yeah, it was our pleasure. yeah proper it was chilled awesome evening, and great to meet Jay. Um, Same as that. He gave me an awesome catapult. I forgot to actually show it in this video, but I will show it in another video. Maybe next time we'll actually get some. Yeah, get some shots in. Definitely, it's been awesome, guys. Yeah, great camp, brilliant. proper chilled yeah. evening. Thanks, Jay. Jay. Don't forget check out Instagram, Jacoby Catapults, and it. YouTube, Instagram, South Bucks Bushcraft. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you again soon.